In this video, we're going to learn how to access the Figma community in order to download and leverage assets which other designers have publicly released for the community. So the very first thing that we want to do is to go here under the home and uh, you're going to want to click on the community profile and at this point uh, simply click on community now there is a chance uh, that you're also going to see the community tab uh, directly here or alternatively you can go here on the bottom left uh, hand corner and click on community so three ways that you can access the community and uh, the way that the community works uh, is actually very easy you can simply search uh, for example for UI kit uh, and uh, as you type uh, in enter you're going to see all sorts uh, of uh, different uh, UI kits uh, for that uh, specific uh, search query so you can uh, easily just uh, select uh, one of these uh, which uh, might be this one and uh, you can click uh, open in Figma and at this point uh, you're going to be able to access uh, this uh, directly into the uh, into your Figma account so if we go back uh, you can actually see that uh, I literally just copied uh, this exact file in uh, my Figma account and uh, I have uh, literally full access to it so a great uh, resource uh, and uh, you should uh, use the community with um, all sorts of uh, different uh, goals meaning that you can leverage uh, a UI kit but you can also leverage for example an illustration or icons or things of that nature and the best part is that uh, you're not only going to see Figma files but also you have access to plugins which are relevant uh, to that uh, search query as well as uh, widgets or you can, you can even browse by creators now one word of caution if uh, a creator uh, has only released a file for personal use please keep it for personal use only so beware whenever you're working on a client's project you want to double check the creator's licensing in that sense if you're using that asset in a very close way to the original design but Maybe one of the instances uh, that uh, you're going to incur very often is uh, you might uh, add some elements uh, or use some of these files as a starting point from uh, your uh, design project so that you don't necessarily need to start from scratch but you're obviously going to change it according to your needs. So this is in a nutshell how the community files work. You can also see more information about the individual files as well as uh, more design files by the same creator in the area below and uh, this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to the Figma community if you have any questions just let me know and I'll see you in the very next video